Sons is Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again, and today we're going to be showing you how to mine Conflux on Windows 10 with AMD and NVIDIA GPUs using the NB Miner. And that is because Conflux has become significantly more profitable, even more profitable than Ethereum in the current state of things, at least on NVIDIA GPUs. But without further ado, we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Right now, let's get in on how to mine it. Okie doke, so first things first, we're at the home page, which will be linked down in the description below. Be sure to review the white sheets, etc. And keep in mind that you probably want to go ahead and mine and sell right away if you're going to be going about this plan. While this is not financial advice, to be clear, what it is is me stating that my personal strategy is to mine and sell this particular crypto because it's such a young project. I don't have the trust in it and neither does uh, the community quite as much as it does in Ethereum. So you can mine and hold and hedge your bets if you like. And there is always a bigger upside there, but there's also always a bigger risk. So do as you please as far as your mining strategy with Conflux. That being said, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head on over to portal.conflux-change.chain.org and install the Chromium browser plugin. That will be the wallet. So you're just gonna go ahead and click install and then click the add to chrome and click add the extension at this point you'll be greeted with the get started so you're just going to hit get started and we are going to be creating a new wallet you'll have to agree of course and just make sure that you pay attention to all their good suggestions like never collect keys addresses transactions balances hashes or any personal information uh well or what it does it never collects your full ip address and it never sells data for profit so that's good to know you can click i agree if you care to continue on set a basic password read the terms of use and click create this point we're going to reveal our secret and we are going to control c it and put it in a notepad i do not suggest saving these on your computer especially anything you're mining on but for demonstration we'll be doing that here you can always use an encrypted usb key if you need instructions for that let me know we can create a, a video for that as well so we're just going to name this conflux key because this is an example and save it to the desktop and then once we've done that we're going to click next it's going to say confirm the backup key so this is the point where you will need to essentially bring up both pages the notepad that we just saved and copy everything over so for example it starts out egg then it goes clever then it goes armed then it goes bubble then it goes holiday then it goes harbor then it goes proof then it goes same then it goes pink, then it goes hotel, use and shine and confirm and click all done. And at this point you'll be greeted, of course, with the wallet page here. We're going to be looking for our, our, basically our account number or, you know, wallet address here. We can click deposit, click view account, and then we can go ahead and copy this out right here. You can also copy it from this section as well. We're just going to go ahead and put that in the notepad with our private key, uh, for example, here. Uh, you can keep those two together. Probably is recommended that you do. I recommend using, you know, either some sort of paper wallet. There are lots of options for paper wallets or, like I said, saving this notepad to an encrypted USB key. There are plenty of options and we've gone over a few of them here on this channel. Your other option is to mine directly to an exchange. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but MXC is one of the options, I believe. Is it MXC crypto? Yeah. So MXC you can exchange uh, this particular token on. So if you are looking for a mine directly to exchange option, here's your option and we are good to go that's also probably where you will convert it to usdt and then send it off to swap on whether that's uniswap or another exchange to sell it uh, of course for us dollars so there you go all right so we've gotten all that out of the way we have our extension created and now we need a miner so the miner we're going to be using is nb miner 34.5 
We use this as well for Ravencoin, so we do have it installed already, but for the sake of the how-to, you're going to scroll down and get the NBminer 34.5 win.zip, and this may take some time to download, so just let the download complete. Now that the download is complete, it may say that it's a risk, and you may need to say that you want to keep it. In our case, it seems to not have done that pop-up this particular time. We're going to keep the zip and all the files in the downloads folder, for example, but you can move it to any directory you prefer. You're going to right click and select extract all. If you're using WinZip or WinRAR, that will work just fine as well. And I assume if you are already using those applications, you are aware of how they function. We're going to click extract all. Once extracted, you're going to have the folder ready for us to go ahead and get the miner running. We're going to open the directory and scroll down to the start underscore conflicts dot bat. If the dot bat is not appearing, you want to go into your search in Cortana and search for file explorer options. Go to the view tab and scroll down and uncheck the box for hide extensions for known file types and click apply. Once you've done that, you will have the .bat extension and be able to change this or be able to create a new text document changing the, uh, the dot bat, dot .text to .bat so that it will run as a batch file. From there, we're going to right click and say edit. In some cases, you will get this window protected your PC. You'll need to click more info and run anyway. At this point, we'll have the initial configuration or example configuration for the batch file. The two things that we're looking for is going to be the server address, which we will be mining to bpool, and the wallet address, which we will be replacing. Now, the reason we're mining to bpool is because it's currently the largest pool for this particular coin. That being said, it is in China, so if you have connection issues, you want, may want to look at F2 pool and so on and so forth, but you will probably have decreased profitability uh, especially in the case of this particular coin because of the dominance of bpool over it currently unfortunately that may change as the coin rises in popularity now we're going to go back to the notepad that we created with our wallet address we're going to do a control c or right click and copy we're going to highlight the wallet address in the batch file and right click and click paste you can also do control V. At this point, we are going to change the default to test, but you can name it whatever rig you currently have and then click file and save. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and start the miner. And then we are going to go ahead and open hardware info so you guys can see the fun Okie dokie, so the two GPUs that we currently have in this system are an RTX 3070 and an RX 6800. This makes for a nice comparison so that you guys can see essentially uh, the two new or latest GPUs compared to each other. And as you can see very clearly here, the 3070 comes out winning pretty much no questions asked, right? We're at 46.37 mega hash on the 3070 and 20.28 mega hash on the 6800. The power consumption is going to be right over here with the RX 6800 being at 105 watts. And if we go down to the 3070, 153 watts. Both of these do overclock and get more hash rate, about 25 mega hash a second on the 6800 and about 56 mega hash a second on the 3070. We can go over overclocking tutorials for these cards in a separate video. Okie dokie, so now that we have it up in mining, you guys probably want to go ahead and calculate your profitability and see what you are earning. The first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to bpool.org. Let me see if we can get this autocomplete out of here. And you're going to input your wallet address. So you can get the wallet address from the text document that we completed earlier and use a copy and paste to go ahead and put it in and then do a search. Right now we have no data here, 
But while we do actually have a little bit of data, B pool's a little bit faster than some others. And you can see here that it's starting to report that we have started mining. Uh, this number will go up over time the longer we mine to this address. And you will be able to see what your balance is and what your expected earnings are. And then finally, you're going to want to head on over to Minerstat. Link will be in the description below. And you can type in your hash rate over here. For example, I'm going to do 56 mega hash at 150 watts for the RTX 3070. Type in your electricity cost, kilowatt per hour, and your currency. And you can click Calculate. And you can see here that a single RTX 3070 will make about two dollars and 29 cents a day in revenue and then that's after your power cost so before power cost about two dollars and 65 cents uh, to give you guys an idea let's head on over to what to mine and the rtx 3070 let me get rid of all of these real quick does 60 mega hash a second at about 150 watts as well and we're going to calculate that out and you'll see that your revenue is $2 a day and $1.64. The converse to that, right, is going to be the 63 mega hash a second on the 6800 at 105 watts for Ethereum, about. And that is going to be $2.10 a day in revenue. And if we went over to Conflux and did 25 mega hash a second, I believe it was at like 200 watts too, which is pretty high. Our revenue would be $1.18 in 24 hours and 70 cents after power cost. So what we're seeing here is a similar situation to early days of Ravencoin. Ravencoin's kind of changed a little bit recently with the 6000 and 5000 series performing much better than they used to in the past. And Octopus is kind of like early day, uh, early day Ravencoin, right? Uh, where you would only want to really mine it or take your NVIDIA cards off of, uh, or yeah, take it off if you have NVIDIA cards. Alrighty, so there is how to mine Conflux on Windows. We will be talking about Hive OS in a later video. And the, to conclude, essentially, if you're rocking anything that is going to be 2000 series, RTX 2000 series or above NVIDIA GPUs, they are currently more profitable on Conflux than on Ethereum. Keeping in mind, of course, that in this particular case, the 10 series, which is like your 1080s and your 1080 Ti's, in my experience, we just tested a 1080 Ti, it only got 15 mega hash a second at like 200 watts. We didn't do any more additional tuning on that particular card yet, and we will go ahead and give that a shot, but for your... Uh, basically your 10 series NVIDIA GPUs, Ethereum is still profitable, but for your RTX 2000 series and 3000 series GPUs, Conflux is significantly more profitable than Ethereum. To be safe, of course, if you're going to decide to do this, this is not financial advice, but my recommendation would be to mine and sell, trade out to something like one of the stable coins like the USDT pairing on MXC and basically go from there. You can mine and hold if you think that this project's going to take off. I don't have a coin review for you guys at this current time. Just the fact that it is the most profitable for these particular sets of cards and by quite a big margin. So hope the video is helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next Tuesday.